Okay. Nick, I'm here with Zorfix. We're going to talk about bulls on the block, and which is very interesting. I've been It's something that I've been kind of dabbling in. I've been in the NFT space for a long time, but I've just started <clears throat> into the generative stuff. So we're going to go into a little detail about a project that's really cool. And uh, yeah, I won't say any more than that. Uh, who am I talking to? Who's this other person on the screen? Z. <laughs> so what, okay, what's going on with this? What, what do we have here? Give me, give me the 10,000 foot and, and what's going on with bulls on the block. Yeah. So without going into it, like a long history lecture, I mean, bulls on the block is part of a broader, broader sort of trend happening right now in crypto and in NFTs, you know, called generative NFTs or gen art, you know, where, you know, some some artists will draw, you know, sort of create a handful of layers and, uh, re, you know, for different traits and sort of, you know, like trait values. And then, you know, you use software to sort of combine those in sort of random ways to produce the ultimate output art. And so this computer generated art sort of idea where you have human human layers that serve as input and then the computer generates the output art is kind of a, you know, a big thing. And I mean, CryptoPunks was one of the first ones to do that. But, you know, in this more recent sort of uptrend, you know, the apes dropped in, in April. And that was really what kind of brought a lot of attention to, to generative, uh, you know, NFT projects. The bulls launched not too long after uh, the apes. They're definitely one of the OG projects. And uh, and the artwork is done by. Rui Duarte, who's pretty well known, uh, you know, in the in the NFT art space, you know, he did the Bulls, the Bears. He also did the Floyd uh, project recently, and then a couple of the a couple of engineers. So it's th three person founding team: Bobo Damp and Rui. And uh, here lately, uh, there's just been a massive expansion in the project. A new leadership team is coming into play. Uh, just published a new roadmap, new website, getting ready to launch a new uh, token. And so I'll go into all that a little bit here, but. It's one of definitely one of the most exciting projects going on right now, especially because, you know, it's one of the first ones to explore the intersection between, you know, NFTs and DeFi. You know, there's a lot of lot of lot of lessons to be learned from the crypto space and a lot of the DeFi sort of innovation that's happened in the last few years around, you know, automated market makers, liquidity pools, staking, just kind of all this stuff. And uh, and you don't really see, you know, too many NFT projects right now that are that are sort of merging, um, you know, beautiful artwork with DeFi infrastructure. And so I think the bulls and the bears lend itself to that really well, because obviously that whole sort of icon, uh, iconic kind of concept of bulls and bears comes from stock trading and the stock market. And, and so it seems kind of you know, appropriate that the bulls would be one of the first ones to introduce a really uh, powerful integration of NFTs and DeFi. So tell me this. OK, so for everybody that doesn't know, how would a project like this start? I know there's all these layers and all these cool things. You can have sunglasses and clothing and all. How does that look like from the perspective of I'm an artist? I want to do a generative project. What do I need? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely not hand drawing 10,000 characters. I mean, most of these, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most of these projects, you know, start off with, you know, some vision around. I mean, they're, they're called PFP projects, which is like profile picture projects. And so, you know, and this, this is in this whole new generative art space. And there are definitely some some generative, uh, you know, collections popping up that are not necessarily meant to be profile pictures. But that's really where most of the excitement is. And it's just it, it kind of it kind of is aligned with the idea that a lot of people when they create an online identity, whether it's on Twitter or, you know, in Discord or wherever, you know, they might not necessarily want to put themselves there with like a suit and tie on or whatever. I mean, everybody's kind of loosening up and wanting to have some kind of cool online identity. Like I patterned mine after Morpheus in the Matrix and changed Z to X. And so that's like my online identity. And it's not because I'm trying to obviously hide behind anything. I mean, everybody knows my name is Leroy. I'm all over LinkedIn. But uh, but basically, um. Yeah. And so so the apes are one of the first ones to really I mean, you know, and, and definitely a lot of people who own crypto punks use those as profile pictures. But the, the, the Board Ape Yacht Club is one of the first ones that has really created this. I mean, just just perfected identity where I mean, people, you know, I mean, if you have an ape, you, you know, you're so proud of owning the ape, you know, or, or, you know, multiple apes. But definitely, you know, you're so proud of owning an ape because, you know, after the deal with Christie's where Christie's is now doing Board Ape Yacht Club auctions, you know, the board apes have just become sort of like, I mean, what they originally intended to be, which is a very prestigious club uh, you know, of 10,000 sort of like, you know, I mean, not 10,000 holders because some people own more than one, but but a very small number, you know, a few thousand people that own these apes. And I mean, and now the floor on the apes and the floor just means the lowest price you can buy one at is so high. I mean, it's like after the Christie's announcement, I mean, the thing has run up as high as I think pretty close to the 40s, if not above 40. I have to check again. Um, and I mean, some of them are selling as high as 600 ETH. I mean, we're talking millions of dollars. And so so it's pretty clear if you have an ape, if you actually own an, a real ape, uh, not one of the knockoffs on OpenSea, 
then, you know, you were either lucky as hell and got in early or you've paid a shit ton of money for it. Pardon my friend. And so these are the uh, board ape yacht club, right? Yeah. And now, so, what so we- it becomes it becomes kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's literally like, you know, just so you could almost think of it as online online social clubs that are sort of emerging around these generative PFP projects where, you know, if the, if the project really gets to the level where it's being recognized as kind of a club and, you know, and if you actually have your avatar set and, and you know, you, especially if you, you like use name tag or you identify the number, the token ID for the one you own, it's just, it is, it is creating, you know, sort of a, a, a notion of like social clubs. And I mean, I think that's probably one of the biggest things other than degenerate gambling happening in the <laughs> <laughs> But but yeah. And so so the Bulls has just got a really strong identity angle like that as well. I mean, like I always say, you know, you know, people don't say oh, I'm a crypto punk or, you know, I'm a I'm a you know, whatever. I mean, you know, but people do say, you know, I'm an ape or I'm a bull or that kind of thing. And so some of the some of the I mean, a lot of this is is just the luck of naming or maybe not the luck, the genius of naming and just, you know, what what kind of you know sort of theme your collection is based on and things like that. But. You know, Bulls just picked a really good theme that has a long history in finance and, and it's and, and it, they have a, just an extremely active community and uh, and it's 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 growing. I mean, a lot, you know, pretty quickly. A lot of stuff happening. So when. OK, so we're looking at Bulls on the Block. It's this generative project. There is if you go to OpenSea, you can check this out. Uh, we have 10,000 total or is it 9,999? It's 10,000. Yep. OK, it's 10,000. So there are 10,000 of these uh, very unique uh uh, profiles, right? And yep. um, among those, there are three three thousand three hundred different owners. So on the aggregate, everybody owns three, right? Yeah, but there's some that own a lot more and some that own less. Yeah, but yeah, total owners is three thousand, which is pretty good. I mean, if anybody who takes a look at generative projects, I mean, you know, as you get up to three, four, five thousand, you know, uh, total holders. You know, you just you get to a point where, the, where where everything is a little more organic and it's not necessarily controlled by any you know couple whales. And so I think some of the biggest wallets for bulls on a block right now are around 150, 160 ish, which is good, uh, you know, because it cre- I mean, it, it, it is it is sort of like decentralized and spread out across a large number of owners, which, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's really what you want to achieve. So then we look and as you continue and you can do this for any of these projects, by the way, you can look at the total distribution. You can look at the ownership structure. The floor price, and we're not going to get into a price discussion because that's really for that's for the DGENs, but I will say I've been watching this and it it was like point one something like three weeks ago. And no, now it, it's it, point no, no, so the project the project, and I want to get to the roadmap and the site here in a minute as well, uh, because we could definitely wind up going a long time here, as you know, it's <laughs> turning to a boot camp. But but yeah, so basically there was a little bit, you know, I mean, you know, and it's 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 probably one of the most interesting. It is definitely to me the most interesting NFT project that I've studied because in a lot of ways, you know, it 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 you know it reveals a lot of the challenges and difficulties involved in entrepreneurship. Uh, I mean, you know, startup creating startups is difficult, and and it you know and 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 there's I mean just especially you know like I said it's it's it, even more stressful when things take off faster than you expected the, uh, them to, and you all of a sudden realize that the the number of people that you have sort of at the co-founder or the team level are not really enough to kind of you know to 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 really get get everything done, and. Uh, and, and so there was just a there was a little bit of conflict in the co-founding team. And I won't go into all the details about that. But uh, but but long story short, I mean, the project had pretty much almost a near death experience, which the new website, which just launched on Monday, talks about that. And uh, and then, you know. And all of a sudden, the community kind of rose up and a few people popped up out of the community and raised their hand, decided, you know, hey, I'll jump in and help out. I was one of them, you know, a, a, a handful of others, I mean, including Cypher and Hypno and DK and just quite a few people. And uh and and just literally, you know, and I think that, of course, you know, helped heal some of the problems between the co-founders, because I think, you know, uh, you know, a lot of it had to do with reasons that that probably they only understand. But I'm sure a lot of it had to do with just the stress of of being only three people trying to carry all the way to the project and trying to figure out roadmap and just execute on everything. And so, you know, there was already some work being done around a new kind, a new a new sort of uh, type of art for bulls called Evolve Bulls. And the timing of this is all kind of interesting because, you know, Rui came up with this idea after he did the original bull drop for Evolve Bulls, which are like these more sort of 3D looking, just like this one you're looking at right now. And this, and if you stay on this page, this one is actually a special one. It's a one of one. Uh, not sure how that's going to actually drop yet, um, but but that is the Phoenix Bull. And it's essentially a symbol of this moment in time that the Bulls on the Block project went through a few weeks ago where, you know, I mean, it literally almost burned to the ground and then actually rose from the ashes even stronger than it was before. With a, with a very clear roadmap and just just uh, you know just a, a ton of energy from the community, 
And and so this is this is, you know, Rui drew this when he was out sort of in the wilderness, uh, you know, right after all this, these problems happened with his family. And I mean, I talked to him yesterday on a video call and he told me that one came. I mean, and they all come from his heart, but this one especially came from his heart. I mean, because it, it is it, it's a, it's a symbol of this turnaround that just happened. And so it's just kind of interesting that Evolve Bulls, which he had already been working on, is actually dropping on October the 15th. At the same time, the project itself is going through like a big evolutionary phase. I mean, evolving the leadership team, evolving the brand, you know, evolving the roadmap, uh, you know, just all the thinking around what we're trying to do. And and so Evolve Bulls, I think, is, a, is just a, a it's just it's really interesting that he was already working on this artwork and that it's all dropping right around the same time that the project is, is in this infl- at this inflection point. So if I have a bull uh, come the 15th, <coughs> what happens? So, yeah. So so the original bulls, which we call the OG bulls, that's the ones you see right now on OpenSea. And that's called the Bulls on the Block collection. And there will be a new collection. And I'm pretty sure it'll be called Evolve Bulls on the Block. So these are the OG bulls. And so so the original plan was to just, you know, you would actually burn your original bull in order to get your evolved bull. I mean, that seems to be like one of the biggest things in the NFTs now is, you know, burn, burn, burn. But, you know, projects try to burn their NFTs to, to limit the supply and manipulate the price. And that's really what it's all about. I mean, for, for most projects and, and, and our whole approach to this is obviously different. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I think some of this original artwork is going to be it's going to be classics eventually. I mean, it's almost like some early Disney sketches of Mickey Mouse. Now, if you meant them as NFTs, they'd probably sell us for quite a bit. I mean, you know, uh, and so so I just, you know, so and, and and I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details about some of the partnerships and stuff that we're working on. But long story short is there's there is some talk about eventually doing, uh, you know, some things with the OG bulls. <laughs> Wouldn't it be lovely to know about those things? But we'll save that for another day. But yeah, so, bulls, so this that, is coming soon, right? This is like, oh, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Two weeks. So, so to, answer, to answer your question, if you have an evolved bull, we've come up with a different mechanism because, you know, the whole idea is the project is only a few months old and you really don't want to flood the market with, you know, there's already like a bull collection and a bear collection. That's 20,000 NFTs, you know, and at this early stage, in the project as well as in the nft space itself which is still pretty infantile you know you, know, you don't want to have to sort of like you know you don't want to have thirty thousand items and then and then maybe there's another one coming maybe and then boom you have forty thousand items and so on so so the whole idea here is instead of burning your original bulls you'll you'll essentially lock those up in a smart contract for one year in return for your evolved bull okay and so instead of burning it you were going to lose it anyway now this is a way for you to keep it as long as you sit on that evolved bull for one year and so so the the the, the, the right to reclaim your evol- your og bull in one year is tied to that evolved bull so if you sell your evolved bull in one year whoever gets it can come claim that og bull back you know you you lose it by selling and so that's basically what happens is on the 15th you know you can basically go to the new website, there'll be a button there where you can you can essentially uh, log in to what's called the bullpen. That's a new members only area that will be launching on the site on the 15th. And the bullpen is going to have a whole lot of functionality, uh, a lot of which we haven't even talked about yet. There's lots of good surprises coming there. But one thing is you'll be able to evolve your OG bull and essentially put it in a vault and get your evolved bull back. And and uh, and so that's on the fifth on the 15th. And there's a lot of a lot of a lot of, uh, you know, in addition to just the evolved artwork, there's, you know, a, 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 a ton of utility that will be associated with the evolved bulls. Uh, you know, as, as people can see from the announcement yesterday, you know, Bulls on the Block is doing an airdrop of 120 million tokens to evolved bull holders. That's 12,000 tokens per bull, which is pretty huge. And, uh, and, 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 and in, in addition to that, you can stake your evolved bull to earn more. That, wait, that, wait, wait. Tell me tell me about the token again. So this is separate from the artwork. Yeah, the token is a crypto token. So this is not an NFT. This is a this is a fungible rather than a non fungible token, and uh, and so it's it's essentially you know the idea is that you know the bullpen will 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 gradually be expanded with more and more functionality, that that essentially allows people to use the bull token within that that app to do various things, and uh, and so we just put out a, a light paper that talks a little bit about that. There's a new draft coming out soon, but it's a, it's essentially a utility token, and. Uh, and 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 you know you can you, you can either get it through the airdrop you can get it through staking your bull or eventually there will be a public sale as well. And then and when is when does the token kind of come onto the scene? Is there a date for that? Uh, it will not be very long after October the fifteenth. Put it that mm. way. Soon. Very I like soon. this. So you're so you really are bringing DeFi kind of characteristics. The idea of staking, the idea of incentivizing a community. Yep. Which is not really happening in most of the other, uh, not too many other NFT projects incentivize actually collecting. A lot of them, it's it's a flip, it's who flips fastest or who flips at the right time. 
This yeah. is basically saying it's cool artwork. It's going to get cooler. And if you want to participate in this big community, we yeah, would if, if you want, if you, I mean, ultimately, if you want to be loyal, you know, if you want to provide sort of, you know, like if you want to, you know, support the community, because there's a lot of things that we'll be using that bull token for that involve, you know, providing support to the community. Again, these are all talked about in light paper and I won't go into them. Um, but but otherwise, also, you know, if you're a loyal hodler, so to speak, and you're not one of these flippers that's constantly trying to like squeeze point two to ETH profit out of something, I mean, you know, it you will be rewarded for that loyalty. And I mean, that's that's another important feature of the token. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's definitely completely different from NFTs. And and I, and I just believe that the inner, you know, the, the merging of DeFi and, and NFT space is inevitable. There's already some projects out there doing it. Um, but, you know, to a lesser degree than we plan on doing it, if you look at the roadmap. Are and, you, uh, Zorf, are you guys going to roll into uh, NFT lending? <laughs> I, I mean, it sounds silly until it doesn't. Anyway, yeah. I just throw I that out there. If you guys do that. conversations about that here lately, but let's, let's <laughs> just get on over here. Okay. <laughs> just remember, Nick said that. Nick said that. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> let's, so take me through, can, can we go through the roadmap real quick, just so people can kind of square sure. this away? Yeah, click that roadmap tab right there. <clears throat> and scroll down just a tad. Ooh, cool. Wait a minute. That's not a bull. Well, that's well, that's kind of like the visual there is the roadmap where the first thing that came out was the OG bulls. That's that yes. lava bull up there. Then the next thing that came out was the bear drop, and then now the evolved bulls. So it's just kind of showing you some of the stuff on the roadmap. It's, yeah, I like this. So uh, where are we at? So yeah, so I won't I won't go too deep into all this, but again, the bull down wallet and voting, that's already up. So I mean, if you scroll up to the top of the page again, you'll see a Dow link there. <clears throat> and we've already got a couple of proposals people have been voting on. You don't have to click over to that right now if you don't want to, but it's essentially a snapshot portal. And of course, you know, people in the crypto space have been using snapshot.org forever for voting. One of the unique things we're doing here is, is you know, un unlike, I mean, one of the, one of the main reasons why, you know, uh, one of the main sort of like, you know, ideas behind the launch of the bull Bulls on the Block by Bobo Damp and Rui, other than, you know, you know, just taking the artwork to the next level, which is pretty clear. I mean, this evolved bull artwork is probably, I would say, better than anything I've seen in the entire space. Um, is a community wallet. And so that was one of their original visions was to try to accumulate a large amount of Ethereum and other assets in a community wallet that essentially, you know, is is belongs to the community and, 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 and can be sort of controlled by the community. And so, but I mean, you know, as you know, I mean, most NFT projects are still managing community funds, team funds, whatever funds in like what are called, you know, EOAs, externally uh, owned uh, you know, uh, accounts, which is like a, just a regular old wallet with a, with a private key and MetaMask or Ledger or something like that. And one person controls it. And that's really just not the proper way to protect the community's, you know, uh, assets. And so the better way is to use multi-signature wallets. And, and an even better way would be to tie it up to a voting portal where every vote counts as a signature. And so and you establish some basic rules around quorum and what kind of vote represents a passing vote and so on. And so, and this is not for all the wallets in the project. This is just for any funds that are treated as community funds. They would they would be linked up through through you know to to, to a voting portal, and then you know and then proposals go up from time to time that represent sort of withdrawal requests, and and the community votes on them. And if the community vote passes, then there's nothing else required. No human has to say, okay, I'll go do it. You know, I mean that that actual passing vote. <clears throat> basically triggers an on-chain transaction that will cause the money to get withdrawn and sent wherever. And so so we've already put the first step in place, which Snapshot is up. We're already voting on some proposals, including electing the uh, chief bulls to, to, to sort of head up the leadership organization. And uh, and and we're still testing. We're already on Rinkaby testing and, and already you know got it all working perfectly there. But, you know, taking our time, because, again, you have to make sure that when you do, I mean, as soon as you do this, I mean, you've, you've, you've crossed up, you've crossed over and there's no crossing back. So, I mean, as soon as you turn this wallet over to sort of like, you know, community voting, there is no sort of override where you can flip the switch back. It overwrites the, 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 the previous signers. And so we're taking our time and making sure we do it right, because, again, Bulls, Bulls on the Block has about 100 ETH sitting in a in a community wallet with with, you know, a lot more flowing in and new revenue streams coming up. So it's definitely one of the few projects that actually has a, you know, I mean, considering the young age of the project, a pretty significant amount of community funds that it's completely turning over to the to the community uh, and, uh, and and actually, it, you know, integrating a voting portal with the wallet directly so that no one person or even no small group of people can control those funds. They're 100 percent controlled by the community. So my eyes keep going to bull comics. You got to tell me what. Yeah, this so is. I won't. I won't go all the way down this thing. I mean, <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff going. But the Bull Comics, the Bull Comics is essentially there's a there's a collab or a, a partnership that's happened between 
Um, oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. Bull Comics is Rui. Rui has been drawing. You know, Rui is just an amazing artist. I mean, he does all kinds. Of, I mean, Rui is, you know, a lot of artists have one, one style they do. I mean, Rui does all kinds of stuff. I mean, he can do the 2D, he can do like 3D looking stuff, not 3D models, but 3D looking artwork. Um, you know, he also does comics. And so he's created a full comic strip. Uh, you know, I, I think I, I'm pretty sure it's up to 12 strips right now. I'm not sure how many more there are. Um, and uh, and and basically, you know, those are going to be airdropped to to bull holders here soon. And so uh, a lot of those details are in Discord. So if anybody wants to know how to get are, in, are them. those going to go uh, specifically to bull holders named Nicholas Black? That's really the main question. I think everybody wants answered. You well, know what? We'll, we'll table that for another time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, are there any other things that you thought were uh, wickedly important that just people trying to get an idea should know about? Yeah. Other than the, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, everything on here is literally like a, you know, just a, a big, huge item. And, and a lot of this is already in motion, uh, you know, and, uh, and so, but yeah, the, I mean, we, as you can see right there, Evolve Bulls and Website 2.0, I mean, Website 2.0 already, already dropped, Evolve Bulls on the 15th, you know, merch store is already in development. Um, you know, the, now some of these educational uh, initiatives that we're doing, uh, like the Bulls on the Block Academy, as well as BullCon, uh, BullCon is, a, you know, as you know, you know, I, I enjoy hackathons and conferences and things like that. And we've all kind of worked together, some of the new leadership team to, to put together a, a really nice remote NFT conference uh, that includes an NFT hackathon and, uh, you know, a hiring expo and uh, and just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of really cool features and, uh, and and with prizes, you know, and and so. And so the registration for that starts on Monday. There's a lot of details about that in the discord. Uh, anybody who who held a bull uh, as of Sunday, we took a snapshot. They, they basically can just mint a free ticket uh, and it's one ticket per wallet. And uh, and then otherwise, if you're you know, if you did not ho hold a bull as of Sunday, there'll be a little small, small price to attend it. It's a virtual conference. And uh, and we should have, a, you know, just a bunch of really top sort of uh, thought leaders from from various projects and project co-founders and just different, you know, some whales and just a bunch of bunch of really good speaker lineup. And a really fun competition where, you know, we're going to be working with, uh, you know, basically uh, creating a competition where artists and engineers can kind of team up. And we're also doing a heavy outreach to college students. We want to start pushing a lot of this NFT art, uh, education down into the sort of, uh, you know, colleges and uh, and letting them compete for, you know, 20. Uh, um, it's twenty five thousand or more. Depends on how many sponsorships we bring in and so on. And uh, but they're ultimately competing to to create a collection and to actually create a website with a minting app and everything in the, in, the, in the few days that the conference runs. And at the end of the conference, they'll pitch their projects to judges and there'll be, you know, several different prizes. Uh, you know, not definitely not all first place, be first, second, third, some runner up prizes and so on. And uh, but, yeah, we just kind of create a create a really fun educational event. So we'll be delivering educational content through st sort of structured boot camps and workshops on on the, the Bulls on a Block Academy. And it will also be running a. Um, a conference twice a year where there's also lots of workshops, boot, ca boot camps, as well as, uh, you know, like speaker lineup. So to kind of reduce this back on the 15th, we have the evolution event where I'll be able to evolve my bull. Yep. Then um, there's going to be these mechanisms in place, including a governance token, which is going to be given to people. Are you Well, as it stands right now, a utility token. Governance, okay. gov governance still lives in the bull, in the evolved bull NFT. I mean, as it stands right now, the OG bull is what's being used on the DAO, but we're going to be moving gradually, you know, still working out some of the details around that, but we're moving the utility to the, to the evolved bull. And so, and that is exclusively how you can actually govern right now, you know, right now is with the bull NFT. Uh, although I do not, you know, think it's out of the question that down the road, especially as the price of a bull goes up and and it may just be out of reach from some people who want to participate in governance and get involved in the project, that the bull token itself will also, uh, you know, a sort of take on voting rights. And, you know, some some certain number of, of bull tokens would would represent one bull NFT. And so, so, again, it's one one bull token would be a lot less voting power than having a full bull. Right. But, but you'd at least be able to, to participate in voting and, and you know, contribute. So if I own my bull, I evolve my bull. Um, there'll be some kind of staking benefit to to not selling that because I would lose all sorts of potential future benefits, which yep. just uh, the the greatest one not being priced, the greatest one just being inclusion in the community and the ability to participate and yep. instead of just watch from the sidelines. And I think that's a big deal. <clears throat> it's a big deal to me. So yeah. My bull yeah, no, a couple, too, of, the, couple yeah. of the biggest reasons. I mean, you know, the whole idea here is that, you know, rewarding loyalty and incentivizing loyalty. So you know, I mean, when you get your evolved bull, I mean, if you sell it, you obviously lose the right to reclaim your OG bull back, uh, which which would suck. Because, again, I do believe at some point, you know, some of these really and again, you know, the earliest projects, 2017 ish. But I do believe this new wave of projects that popped out in 2021 will five years from now be looked at as some of the OG projects as well. 
Um, so, so, you know, selling your Evolve bull would, would mean, you know, giving up your right to reclaim your OG bull. But, but also the way the airdrop is structured where, you know, there's going to be 120 million bull tokens dropped to the community, 12,000 per bull, but vesting over 12 months where 1,000 of those tokens per month are dropped into your wallet from a smart contract. If you sell your Evolve bull, you also lose your claim to, the, to that airdrop. Uh, so, so those tokens would go to whoever bought the bull. I mean, if you, so if you held it for three months, got three months worth of drop and then sold it, then obviously the other nine months goes to that guy. And so, so the whole idea here is to incentivize loyalty. Uh, and, uh, you know, and that's, that's kind of the reason why we sort of structured uh, the drop and the, the Evolve bull drop. That so way. that's cool. So you really do get a lot of the DeFi incentives, um, but you but you also get proof and st- proof of stake incentives, which you know, in as far as protocol layer assets for those of you that are in the traditional you know crypto kind of uh, protocol space, if you're in- investing in those assets, you get staking rewards for providing support to the network. Your vote counts. And here, same thing. Your vote counts. Your your token, your unique token, which is the artwork, that counts for something. And over time. That counts for continued kind of incentivization. So that's kind of cool. So I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. So yes. Um, what else do we need to know? If we were to wrap this up, what else do we need to know? What if, if there was one thing you want to tell people about bulls in the block this second? What would it be? You know, I would just say you better keep an eye on it. That's for sure. And uh, and otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> And otherwise, you know, if you're a project founder out there trying to create your own collection and, and you know, you'd like to tap into a lot of expertise in various areas, including, you know, everything from blockchain and uh, development to web development, to the marketing side, to team formation, to discord setup, to anything. Bulls on the Block is, uh, you know, has basically opened up the application to, to, to Bullseye, which is the new Bulls on the Block accelerator. There's already been a few applications come in. And for those that essentially can kind of, you know, uh, you know, for those that basically, you know, that you know, that the, 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 the judges are convinced could actually work. I mean, because the founding team and so on, I mean, it's, it's more than just the artwork, you know, uh, bulls on a block is willing to lend a ton of support to help you get launched. So I would say, go take a look at the bullseye uh, or at the accelerator page. If you scroll down to the link in the footer, it says accelerator and, uh, and just, you know, send over some information and, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty important. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you know, just uh, jump in, jump in the community. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's some really cool people in there. And I, I definitely think if, you, if you're new to NFTs and you're trying to figure out, you know, you know, what, what, where would you want to buy your first NFT or maybe, you know, sort of start building up a little bit of a portfolio. I mean, the bulls are, I mean, again, the floor is moving pretty fast. I mean, I think it's at point four this morning, but they're still priced reasonably low where, you know, you could still get in and, and be part of this community and learn more about NFTs, especially with all the new educational stuff coming out. And uh, so I'd say anybody who's looking at getting into NFTs should definitely, uh, you know, give Bulls on the Block a look as one of maybe your, you know, your, sort of your entry point. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm doing this. I'll just tell them that I'm going to do this. And maybe I did it already. Oh, yeah. But I, I, have, a, I have a couple Bulls. I am, I'm still hunting. A couple. I'm still hunting for the lava one. That one's to me is the most badass. But anyway, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. Or maybe in the evolution event, I'll get some kind of badass rarity upgrade. Gold. The <laughs> golden thing. Hey, I forgot to tell about that. So one last thing before we finish is the Evolve Bulls, there's like this little interesting element. And, and it really it's like in the Evolve Bull launch, you, you know, we kind of wanted to stay true to the notion of ed- evolution. And obviously evolution requires mutations. I mean, nothing can evolve unless the stuff is changing. <laughs> And so there's there's essentially a single mutation in this uh, evolved bull drop called the gold mutation, and basically about 0.5 percent, which is comes out to somewhere around 50 of the bulls, are you know whenever you 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 know basically swap your OG bull out for the OG, uh, for the for the evolved version, you know you may wind up with gold. And so about 50 out of the 10,000 will will just e- mutate into into gold bulls, uh, which will be the most rare in the collection, and uh, and that's just something also to bear in mind. I want it. I want it now. I want it now. All right. Um, okay, Z, thank you. Obviously, for anybody that's interested in this, even if just peripherally, if you just want to get an idea, maybe you're looking at launching your own generative or you're or you're just curious, go check out the Discord. So go to the Discord, get in, kind of bang around in the community. There's tons of people. Right, let me give some URLs. So the website yes. is bulls, bullsontheblock.com, or you can get to the Discord by going to botb.chat. And if, if you go to Twitter, those links are sitting right there on the page. But bullsontheblock.com is the website, or you can go to the website and, of course, click the, the Discord, join this Discord button and drop in there. And, and yeah, I mean, 
it's it's a really cool place. I think you'll like a lot of the people. There's, I mean, we're doing a lot more AMAs and voice chat and stage 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 talks, and so it's not you know all just sitting there kind of whacking your fingers and sending text messages in there. I mean, we're trying to create some real <laughs> community and real bonds and like you know some some humanity in the community. So uh, get in there, and I think you'll you'll wind up making a lot of friends. All right, I'm gonna have to go neck deep in bull. All right, thank you for your time. Right. Um, this is something we're going to be following up on. I definitely want to get you back after the evolution event, if yeah. nothing else, just to compare bull size. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out.